Mabuhai! I'm Kurt Headline and I'm in sixth grade and I'm here to present to you all the Philippines. Now you may be wondering what I am wearing right here, this colored vest. This is actually supposed to make me look like a Muslim person in the southern part of the Philippines. I am now going to explain to you all about these famous places and foods that a lot of people come here just to taste and experience in the Philippines. Let's start with our first national food of the Philippines, lechon. It is a roasted suckling pig that has a bunch of lemongrass, garlic, onions, and a lot of vegetables in it. Then it is roasted on a large bamboo over an open fire. When I went to the Philippines to try lechon, it tasted super good. So I recommend that when you go to the Philippines, you go and try lechon. Do all bets, lechon. Now let's move on to pancit and lumpia. Pancit is a noodle food that is has a lot of veggies in it and some meat and chicken as well, which makes it super healthy for you. So I recommend that you also try this Philippines food too because it is very healthy for you because it has a lot of veggies. Lumpia on the other hand is more veggies and sometimes meat that is wrapped in a crepe like egg based wrapper. A lot of people like this food and I can tell that Philippines people especially like it since they eat it like a lot of times. Now let's move on to tinikling dance. It is the Philippines traditional folk dance that involves performers moving bamboo poles and um, other performers to dance and hop over the bamboo poles for their performers. Now let's move on to the Chocolate Hills. The Chocolate Hills is a geological formation in the Bohol province of the Philippines. In the wet season, it is colored green, as in this photo, while in the dry season, it is colored brown, hence the name the Chocolate Hills. The Banaue Rice Terraces are terraces that were carved into the mountains of Banaue Ifugao. These terraces that were carved, like, and the crops, did these farmers did not use any machinery or anything that has power to carve and plant their crops. They used their stick and their bare hands to carve into the mountains and to plant their own rice crops. Let's move on to the Mayan Volcano. The Mayan Volcano is a very tall cone-shaped volcano that resides over the Philippines that erupts a lot of lava. I can tell that this volcano will be sometime active right now. And over here is the white beach that is in the beach of Bor Boracay. It is called the white beach because it is known for the white sand that makes it its name. A lot of people go here because it is the main tourist beach and they have lots of fun here. Now let's move on to my Philippines painting. These are the Ifugao people who carved the rice terraces over here into the mountain. This is an actual map of the Philippines right here. And then the eight rays on the sun represent the eight provinces that fought during a war. Over here is the color of the Philippines flag. There's a little boat right here and there's some little people doing the tinikling pole dance. And then over here is the Tarsier, the world's smallest monkey which is four inches and now let's move on to my air dry clay model of my jeepney this jeepney is one of the main transports in the Philippines I went on here once there was a lot of people here but I used it to get to my destination where my cousins and my family were and lastly over here there is this is a hat that was actually made and branded in the Philippines. That's all for today, guys. If you want to hear again, just replay the video and I will see you guys next time.